sustainability has really been at the core of everything you've been doing from the very beginning. How has your thinking evolved? Uh, it goes back, I guess, to the 1960s. And, um, and the influences there were, um, were Buckminster Fuller, Operating Manual for Planet Earth. There was Rachel Carson. Uh, the uh, awareness of pesticides. So a kind of planetary awareness. And I think that that very much came in the wake of the space missions and uh, images like Earthrise. Um, uh, so uh, in the late 60s, early 70s, we were, without using the word green, because it didn't exist then, but we were essentially pursuing buildings that were green, that would consume less energy, that would work with nature. Um, uh, issues like recycling uh, of human waste to fertilizer, unbuilt projects and built projects. Um, I think that then, at that time, we were the outsiders. That's become now far more mainstream. And, um, and perhaps the big difference between then and now is that there have been scientific studies that show that green buildings are actually good for your health. For example, a patient in a room with a view will leave hospital sooner after surgery, will recover more quickly. Studies by the Harvard School of Public Health have discovered that green buildings, uh, you perform better, you're healthier. So, um, so all of those trends have accelerated. 